So I have already recorded this entire video and then realized that the audio was not recording the entire time. So what does it mean to have a balanced life? This is the question that sparked the idea for this video. Actually, this series in general. I'm starting a series on balancing life. My view on this has changed over time. Experience has caused it to evolve, and so it will evolve more. I'm gonna say that right now. I know that it will evolve more. So we're learning as we go, and this series is just a way to bring you guys along on that journey and to give it some structure. So first, let's go to the internet for the definition of a balanced life. The first thing I saw when I typed, what does it mean to have a balanced life, was this little paragraph. Balanced living means achieving optimal health in all aspects of your life. Relationships, work, fitness, health, and emotional happiness. We all get so caught up in work and family responsibilities that we forget to make time for ourselves. So I scrolled a little bit further and I saw an article by Everyday Health, how to lead a well-balanced life. And it goes over all these different areas of life that you should, you know, put more of your focus on in order to have a, a better life, just overall well-rounded. As I'm doing this, I'll probably get some tips and stuff from that article, which I'll link down below if you guys want to read the full article. I want to focus on each area of health and try to find different practices that you can do to improve that area. Some will be easier than others. I don't know. I'm excited for the challenge. I think it's going to be really fun. Each video is going to have a theme. It's going to be me trying something or doing something that is meant to help with these. I actually have this microphone because I was wanting to start a podcast kind of centered around this topic. But for now, I think I need to focus on my channel, which is why I'm doing that. Kind of because I think my life would be a little lopsided, aka not balanced, if I were to try to start a podcast right now. So something that I've observed is that it doesn't always mean splitting up the categories into these even pie slices that all have a certain amount of time and energy devoted to these different areas. And it's also true that sometimes balance is giving your all to something. If you're like in college and you're like studying for an exam, you're probably going to spend more time studying for that exam than you're going to spend on other things. But focusing on like something that hardcore for a long period of time, I don't think is a good or sustainable practice. I am going to tell you guys two examples of times where I took an extreme on either side. On the one hand, I was really, really, really focused on one thing and gave my 100% to that thing. And then on the other hand, I tried the like pie chart type of thing where I split up everything into categories. So example number one. There was a time in my life where I was working pretty much consistently 50 hour weeks at my job. I wasn't sleeping enough. I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't spending time with friends and family. I was basically just working. And you might think if I'm saying like, oh, 50 hours, that's not really that much. A lot of people do work 50 hour weeks. But for me, it wasn't just the time I was put in, like not time that I was clocked into work, but I was just constantly thinking about it and brainstorming and problem solving and studying for being better at it. I basically chose work over everything else at that time. Like if anything came up and it conflicted with work, no work takes priority. Working overtime pr takes priority. Working on Saturdays takes priority. Priority. I'm sorry I can't do it like that was my that was just how I was like I literally even missed a friend's wedding because I was really really tired from a work thing I did the night before still regret it literally my husband was there before I met him I wonder what would have happened if I had met him there I don't know maybe it's good that I the things went the way, way they did because I really like our story my friends and family used to literally joke and say that my work was my boyfriend, but I wasn't dating anyone at the time. Oh my gosh, Abby always has to spend time with her work. Oh, work, 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 work. Like I was made fun of a ton for this, but I didn't listen to what anyone was saying. Honestly, at this time I was so sleep deprived. I was not eating, I was skipping meals all the time and I was just overall very unhealthy. So then example two was a little bit later, like I think about a, a year later and I decided that I wanted to do everything 100% and that I was basically superwoman and I could do it. I was still in my own way focusing on working all the time, but this time I made every single area of my life a thing on the to-do list, a piece of the pie chart that needed to be completed. I tried to separate them all evenly. Relationships, hobbies, job, friends, spending time outside, eating, drinking, 
sleeping. Like I had everything listed out. This is where we get super nerdy. I literally had a spreadsheet to where I listed out how many hours I spent on each category of my life in a week in order to optimize. I know. I'm crazy. I'm also the person who tracked every single minute that me and my boyfriend spent together when we were just dating. And then um, on our wedding day, I told him how many hours we had spent together. Well, I told him before that, but yeah. I really like tracking stuff and I like data, but that's beside the point. I was constantly feeding myself productivity advice and I thought that I was creating a balanced, productive life by doing things the way that I was. But instead I created a chaotic inner world and gave myself like, very bad anxiety. Anyway, I got to the point where I feel like I could hardly recognize even beautiful moments that are like real life. So those two examples are the two extremes, the trying to go 100% at one thing and then trying to go 100% divided for everything. I feel like I was still trying to go 100% at every single category and I literally said that one time and I was like, why can I not get 100% on every single thing? Like, I don't understand what's wrong with me. And my mom was like, do you hear what you're saying right now? So both of those things will leave you feeling very burnt out and probably feeling like a failure. At least for me, that's how it was. I am not superwoman. Like, I think I'm pretty great, but I'm not able to do that. So basically what I'm wanting to do with this series is work a different approach. To recognize that life is made of cycles and seasons and ever-changing main priorities, secondary priorities, third priorities. The way that life just is always moving. We were designed to function in cycles. I am learning through this process and what works for me today might not work for me tomorrow. What works for me tomorrow might not work for you today. Like it's not a one size fits all formula and it's not, it, it's just a, it's, it's, it's discovery. I'm wanting to discover things and just observe the way that things impact me and share what I learned. It's also important to note that there is literally no such thing as a balanced life. Like, I guess I could have used a different title for the series, but I feel like it makes the most sense. But yeah, there's no such thing as balance. You just never achieve this grand final balance. Like, that's just not a thing, you know? But there are practices, processes that you can put into place, systems in your life that can just help with the overall smoothness of how life operates. Also, the videos in this series might not always feel the most balanced because they're going to be focusing on different areas, like, per video, but I'm going to try my best. I mean, the goal is to slowly improve over time in different areas so that it's more a more full picture, like, improvements. My word for the year this year is actually peace. I feel like this is going to add more peace. If not, we'll reevaluate because I'm really coming to a point in my life where that is what I... I'm craving, that's what I'm wanting, is a more peaceful life. But I also want to be living, you know? Like I wanna live. A lot of the times it's hard to make those choices to do the things that actually make you live. And also, I don't always know what those are. And you know, we're all just kind of doing our thing, trying to learn, trying to figure out what to do. Anyway, at the end of each of these videos, I'm gonna use a ranking system because you know, it just, it makes my brain happy to do <laughs> some kind of like stat on something. So at the end of each video, I will rank the practice that I try in that video. It's gonna be ranked on life improvement, amount of peace it provides, and then likeliness to continue the practice. All these will be on a scale of one to 10 and then I'll average out and give you guys a total score. And maybe at the end of the video, each one I'll have like a little tally of all the ones I've tried so far. I don't know, we'll see. I want to do a life audit basic life audit with you guys to see what areas of my life at this current moment in time i think are good and which areas i think could use some improvement today is april 27th work i am gonna give a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, the next one on the list is my marriage i'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10. family i'm gonna give a 7 out of 10. friends going to give it an 8 out of 10. hobbies i'm gonna give a 6 out of 10. nutrition 7 out of 10. exercise 5 out of 10. Sleep is 6.5 out of 10. My mental health is actually pretty good. I give it a 7.5. Mindfulness, I didn't really know what 
to name this as a category, how present I am and how well I'm observing that life is happening. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Emotional health, I'm gonna give myself a six out of 10. My stress levels have been pretty good. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. Rest, I'm gonna give a 7.5 out of 10. And then the last category is environment. And right now I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. But yeah, these are just some categories of life that I decided, hey, let me let me list it out this way. Like I just made this up on my own. So here's my overall score out of the total. I guess we'll see down the line how it changes. I, I'm curious to know if it'll overall go up and down or if it will stay consistent because different categories fluctuate. I don't know but I guess we'll see. So my next video is going to be focused on something that I think helps with emotional and mental health and mindfulness, all of them at once. It's just gonna be a simple practice I add probably in the mornings before I head off to work. We'll see what impact it has. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope that you come along with this journey and you learn something. Maybe you'll try doing this stuff with me. That could be fun. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.